Hello guys, this is Andrew from Onyx International. We are here at CES convention in Las Vegas 2020. One more year again. And this time we're introducing very quick, I'm gonna show you the, no, the new uh, Ying phone, 5.8 inches that we are introducing at CES. Our still is a demo, but already functioning. It has a SIM card inside. We can call to different phones and uh, already has the same Android 9.0 that all our other products has. And very quick, as you can see, you can have several applications. The, the, the screen refresh is very fast. You have four modes of refresh. If you want to scroll on a uh, browser internet or just reading, and uh, it's gonna be great. I mean, this product is gonna be uh, ready for the market uh, around end of Q1 or beginning of Q2 2020. So get to, uh, stay tuned and uh, check it out. Thank you. So how's it going at the CES? Uh, CES is being fantastic. Uh, for me, it's the third year in a row and uh, it's going really good because uh, at this point we have new partners uh, worldwide or a new poss possible partners for the future. So uh, we are here uh, hoping to close some deals and to start cooperating uh, with some companies to develop the US market. So there's big potential in the US, 300 it's million people? It's huge. We have, we, have the, 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 we have the information that we got from our Amazon sales and, uh, and every, everything indicates that uh, the, US, the US market is very big and that most importantly that the, the American people love our products and they, they see the potential and they, they see how these products can, can be useful for them in their daily tasks. All right, and what's the other news around here? So basically, um, as, as, you, as you have uh, reviewed in your videos uh, previously, this one is the Note 2. Uh, the Note 2, if I'm not wrong, you already reviewed it in uh, Hong Kong, uh, which is already the, uh, the, the latest 10.3 version, which includes fingerprint recognition, uh, a, a strong and robust hardware, which includes four gigabytes RAM and the uh, uh, octa-core processor. At the same time, we have improved a little bit the, the software. Now you can take notes onto, on, on top of up to eight files, different files like PDF, EPUB, Mobi, Doc, HTML, etc. So we are keeping improving our products. Uh, and uh, also, as, as you may remember, we also have a handwriting uh, recognition to digital text and also voice to voice to to speech uh, uh, software. So basically, people will use this device for for working and studying. So the um, momentum is going up. More and more people getting into this market. Uh, are yeah. Buying. Yes, yes, because this is of course is a process. Uh, everyone in the very beginning. Uh, compare this product with a regular 6-inch e-reader which of course has a technology as, as reference and also the, fu the, the, the function of reading but these product, these big sizes go beyond that and uh, also allow the features that as I said are good for, for working and studying. Once our brand is every time more uh, known then uh, of course, we have more users, uh, more followers, and, uh, at the, and at the same time, more uh, partners, business partners are willing to work with us. All right, and, uh, and here at the CES, you also have a colleague, uh, American colleague. Yeah, Jason. Uh, Jason, is, is our, Jason is our associate in the US, and he's helping us to develop uh, different niche markets. He's a, a professional of the, of the American football and other sports and he's bringing our solution to different niche markets. So um, here at the CES, what's been the, the response from people and what do you usually show them? For well, example, when you talk about uh, the American the, football, is there a solution about this? Yeah, I think the, uh, this, this, the use of the e-ink screen allows for the use out in the sunlight. And so if I get a pen here. Yeah. Yeah. So by uh, using the e-ink screen, um, the thing that would be very uh, useful to the outside world is um, you know, I could be diagramming uh, some plays. You know, I could say, "Hey, here's some here's some players here," and I'm gonna, um, you know, you're gonna block uh, this guy. Um, you're gonna block him, block him, and then we're gonna run. Uh, you're gonna go fill here, 
and I can show this, the key is that out in the sunlight, I can be way far away from the athletes, from the players. It's impossible to do with an iPad. It, impossible to do with an iPad because of the glare, because of the glass screen. But with the e-ink um, screen, uh, you're able to do this outside. You know, that's one of the major benefits of this. And, uh, and so that's what I'm trying to use uh, out in the, in the uh, real world, you know, out in the applications, you know, those, uh, those markets that obviously there's a lot of sports that are done outside uh, where you can draw and, uh, and reuse. Imagine a coach could also uh, diagram these up, go to the next play. These things are saved, you know, with all the storage on this. I can review this with my players at a later time using some film, using my diagrams. Uh, to help my athletes get better, help my coaches uh, be better uh, strategists. Hmm. All right, so at CES, there's lots of interactions, right? Yes, everybody wants to come up. They want to touch it. They want to ride on it. Uh, they want to they, you know, see what it's like riding. Uh, mostly heard just all positives about the riding experience. It feels like paper. Um, you know, writing whether you know, you're writing uh, research documents, um, you're taking notes, in the in your meetings, um, just all these types of uh, these things that are going on with with business professionals. You know, this is made for business professionals. And then the ease of uh, jumping from a note-taking device to the the library where the PDFs can then uh, be used. And so now on a PDF, you know, I can just have simple oh, have simple text here. But you can thumb through uh, any kind of PDF. It changes. Um, then I can write right on it, you know, so if I'm doing some study, doing some things like this, uh, I can change the way I view this, a split screen, you know, most uh, professionals are not used to the split view, where they can have a PDF on one side of the uh, e-ink screen and then taking, like I said, taking some notes on the other side. So, so how big is the potential in the U.S. market? Oh, I think, I mean, there's business professionals all over the world, there's athletes all over the world, there's coaches, um, you know, the sky's the limit, I think. And one of the things is just educating our, our um, consumers about the benefits of this. You know, I don't know about you, but I like reading um, on e-ink screens compared to a, a backlight, uh, surf, you know, monitor screen. And I think in that uh, aspect, in the education world, there's a lot of applications for that. All right. Yeah. Cool. So what's next also with Onyx? Well, I don't know if you saw already the e-ink phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so yeah, well, if you can't. The, the Android operating system is increasing. Ah, because now it's charging. Now it's, char now it's charging, but I think you saw it, you yeah, saw it saw uh, before. Uh, our CEO, Kim, showed, to the, showed it to the camera. So basically, we, are, we understand there is a huge market. I mean, everyone, there is millions of people using smartphones every day, six to eight hours in front of the screen. It is demonstrated that the LCD screens and DFT screens damage uh, the, the eyes. So for that reason, we, we mix e-ink technology with a, with a smartphone solution and we, we have a, a device which you can use with the basic functions as a, as a smartphone to call everyone and at the same time you can read all your e-books or news or messages in an eye-friendly screen. So it's, uh, it's going to be... It's still not released. We don't have uh, yet a retail price, neither nor uh, a, uh, a release date. However, it's going to be, I guess, around end of Q1, maybe early uh, Q2 2020. And uh, well, we hope it's going to be a, a success. And this market is growing. So this you market... see more and more sales uh, compared to previous year. In general, you mean for... for this your products. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. As I said previously, um, so in the very beginning, the brand uh, needs some time to, to for people to know and also to know the products. For us also, it's, it's some time to be improving our products in terms of software and also providing a robust hardware. And at this point, we already have a quite mature product, but of course, software has always room for improvement. And uh, of course, we are every day working uh, to improve that. And here at CES 2020. Hi. Hi. So here you have an e-ink phone. Mm -hmm. Books, phone. How big is the screen? 5.8. 5.8 inch uh, e-ink. You can show the Android. Uh huh. It's a stand right. and enjoy. Are we on? So it looks nice. Um, is this coming to the market? 
Yes, it's coming to the market. It's not our first uh, ink uh, mobile phone. Actually, it's the second. We did one like six years ago, right? Seven yeah, you follow it. Yeah, it was a, a big story everywhere. It was the first one. Yeah, that's the second. And now, do you mean that maybe now um, the hardware, the CPU, um, the screen, everything is, is ready for a big market, you think? Of course. Um, we do it. Uh, not only uh, maybe we sell to, to some um, niche vertical market, but also we only show to the market uh, we can use it in our ebook reader, in our ink tablet. So it's great for reading uh, books, any books you want. And this is how it looks with the fingerprint sensor. Yeah. Camera. Camera. Everything type, standard. Type C? Uh, type C. Yeah. <coughs> All right. This is a 5.7 and great for reading on the subway. And you can uh, turn off the front light. You have front light? Yes, we, we have. Right. There's a, uh, there's a way to do with the front light. Okay, no problem. And then uh, right here, this is a 5.7 and uh, next to the 13.3. <laughs> How's it going with Max 3? Uh, Max 3 is good. It's good, good selling. People love it. Which is a big market for this? Is it education? Is it... Uh, uh, professionals education and uh, business and uh, professional right lawyers and uh, entrepreneurs and uh, also some uh, engineering people designers they like it where is the best uh, market for you where are you selling more we sell all around the world every country you sell a lot in China right uh, comparably in China, those smaller have a better selling. And uh, in Europe and USA, a lot of people like the big one? Yeah, they like, they love a bigger one. And here I see you have a keyboard. You can use any Bluetooth keyboard with, a, with your all the devices have Bluetooth, right? Yeah, the Onyx product uh, uh, have rich imaginations. It's really cool. Um, and the price is still 800? Uh, 800 something? To, to some business partner, we have some special policy to them. If they Here. make a big order, you mean? Uh, not really. Just strategically, we support those B2B partner to help them to have vertical mar market to have more applications in our device. And when we look at this phone, for example, I saw that there's another company, uh, Hisense, is doing uh, something with the color. What do you think about no, that? No. Uh, yeah, we, uh, there's many people is do doing it. Many people is doing the e-ink phone. And uh, I, I think uh, it, it's, a, it's a good starting for them. But for Onyx, we are experienced. Uh, we know that uh, people for using ink, uh, first of all, they need to have a good reader. So that's uh, Onyx uh, good end. And uh, the, the high sense is a color. Color, but uh, is color, color is a prototype. We have our color one um, four years ago in education for bigger size. It's all it's an old. Uh, tech, technology. It's a color filter. Huh? It's a color filter. It's not real color, but uh, if the technology gradually matured, we will think about it. How do you do the color? What's your technology about the color? Uh, uh, the technology, I think it's more suitable for children. And we do it uh, in our educational tablet, ink tablet, four years before. And uh, th there's also one uh, you're talking about on uh, on this one. No way. It's called uh, uh. the poke, right? Um, where's the poke? Sorry. 
you can't find the poke. Uh, yeah. So the, you were saying something about a poke device, also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me show you some interesting things. Uh, my favorite, but uh, it's it ready for sh shipping. Yeah, ready for shipping. It's very tiny, very slight, and uh, the battery uh, power consumption is very good. So it's a how big? Six inch. Six inch. Six inch. All right. Mm -hmm.